everybody, Zach Hample back at Truist Park in Atlanta for the second straight day. And I'm just chilling out here outside the Chop House Gate at the Battery. I'll give you a 360 of what this place looks like. Always really cool pregame, so much activity, so many people. And listen, I have a very specific goal today. Yesterday, I hope you guys saw the video that I did here. I snagged my 12,000th baseball and I don't usually show up to games bringing balls, but I have it with me again today, protected in a plastic bag. The goal is to try to get it signed by the player who threw it to me, Jose Ureña, pitcher on the Rockies. So, I'm gonna try to track him down, and of course, catch lots more baseballs, and during the game, I have pretty cool seats right out here in the chop house, so get ready for that. Should be another amazing day. Here we go. So yesterday in the first group of batting practice, the Rockies had two lefties. So I figured, well, I'll start out in right field today in case they have the same lineup. Well, they didn't. There was only one lefty, Charlie Blackman, who did a whole lot of nothing. And the players were tossing baseballs to other fans, but not to me. So the first group of BP is done. I have zero baseballs and I'm heading over to left field because the Rockies are a very righty heavy team. So. Yeah, I gotta make something happen. difference a day makes. My goodness, the Rockies have now completed two groups of batting practice. This time yesterday I had six baseballs. Today, a big fat goose egg. So, yeah, this is probably the last group of BP. I don't think I'm going to get a baseball tossed despite wearing this hat because there's a lot of kids down in front and that's good. They should be getting the baseballs, but yeah, it's really tough, so I feel like I have to catch one or I'm gonna finish BP with nothing and that makes me nervous. He's used up all their power in yesterday's BP. Today was totally dead, and their third and final group was even tougher for me because I abandoned the outfield seats early with a few minutes remaining in order to head over into foul territory to get into position to hopefully ask Jose Ureña to sign my 12,000 baseball for me. So I was over by the dugout when batting practice ended, and then I saw Ureña stop way down the left field foul line and start signing for people there. So I hustled over that way and as he was leaving that spot I got his attention, handed my ball to him through a little space in the protective netting and he was nice enough to sign it on the sweet spot. So that feels great. I am so happy to get it done. My 11,000th ball I got three years ago thrown by Francisco Liriano still have not gotten that one. So yeah, really feeling awesome. Of course it would be even more awesome if I didn't have zero baseballs to this point but Getting this one signed almost makes it worth it. And I am in such a good mood right now that I just gotta keep spreading this love and this positivity by giving a shout out to my friends over at Think Geek. That would be Fenway Chris behind the camera. Fenway Chris knows what's up, and if you guys have been watching my videos all season, then you do too. Now, SeatGeek is sponsoring this video. They've given me a link that I can pass along to you guys, and you can use it to save 10% off any order when you buy tickets on the app, whether or not you've used it before. And I'll explain how it works in just a second. But first, quickly, for those of you guys who somehow still are unfamiliar with SeatGeek, 
Well, it is an app that gathers tickets from all over the internet into one spot to make buying so easy. And you can see up here on the screen what it looks like when you use it very user friendly. Now first of all, when you pull up the seating chart and you see all those colorful dots, you want to focus on the green ones because those indicate the very best deals. The red ones, not so much. And also, SeatGeek also makes things easy by rating every ticket from 0 to 10 so you can tell right away just how good of a deal you're getting. And SeatGeek also has a buyer guarantee so you guys can shop with confidence. Now about saving this money, it is so easy just like using the app itself. Here's what you got to do. Check the description for this video. You'll find a link there and when you click it, just do one of two things. Either sign in or sign up and those 10% savings will be applied automatically to your account. So again, click the link in the description and save 10% off any order on SeatGeek. So much money to be saved, guys. You gotta take advantage. And if you're not seeing the Braves, if you're not seeing baseball, it's cool because anytime that you can buy a ticket, whether you're going to see a concert, a show, a festival, you name it, check out SeatGeek first. Our mobile ordering app, you'll find so many of our sales, which you'll also find exclusive items only right across from section 112. A steak sandwich inside the ballpark that is certainly. Well, there I am getting a baseball. Unfortunately, we got a late shot of it. Travis Darno chucking one over the bullpen after warming up. So, there will be no shutout for me here at Truist Park. I can hang out in the chop house with zero pressure to catch a home run. And you can just see right now where I am out by the batter's eye in center field. There are actually some baseballs in the water down there. So I think those would be pretty hard to snag, but interesting to see them. I'll give you guys a closer look at them in just a second. And uh, yeah, this game will be starting up in just a little bit. This game is scoreless heading to the bottom of the second inning and I just want to show you more of the layout here in the chop house. So you can see we have all those seats down there. You saw it earlier for BP. There is this beautiful walkway behind the seats. Then we have, I don't know, all the people inside. Chip, what's up? Look at this guy. That's my shirt. ZachHample.com slash merch. Look at that. What are you even doing? Go get your shirt. Ball octopus. It's been 30 seconds. You still have and that's shirt. And that's one of my shirts too. Check it. So yeah, ZachHample.com slash merch. And, and there's more. There is a very friendly usher here named Thomas. He's right over here. And I think he has something for me. Mr. Hample, here you are, sir. What? Well. Stadium employees, it counts. Hey, thanks. So, uh, yeah, I mean, kind of cheap. Not my favorite way to get a baseball, but I'll take it. So that is number two on the day. And again, one more view of the field from up here. Just uh, 
really, really interesting place to hang out and uh, watch a baseball game. so far and the fans are getting really fired up. Top of the seventh inning right now and Atlanta is winning three to nothing. And you can see right here that the Braves broadcast booth is dark and empty. That's because the announcers are actually doing the game from the seats out in right center field. Jeff Francoeur and Brian McCann are out there along with Chip Carey. So it's great seeing all of them up close. And I also ran into former major leaguer Peter Moylan. So yeah, there is all kinds of action out here tonight and it feels like a party atmosphere. And I feel like I'm celebrating my own party again because of this 12,000 baseball. I don't think that I showed you guys a close up of that autograph. We got fireworks going off, probably someone on the Rockies struck out. But Fenway Chris behind the camera, if you can show the people what this baseball looks like as Charlie Blackman steps to the plate. So again, very nice of Jose to sign the sweet spot. You know what, I'll give you guys an even closer look at the signature so you can really, really see it. And now earlier, I gave that shout out to Siki, but there are two other guys with me here in the Chop House that also deserve a big shout out. Right here, we got Jess, and this is his son, Ben. And if you guys have really been paying attention, then you'll recognize them, especially Ben, from two other videos. I've done two Watuzak games with them, including last year. I'll link to those in the description. And my man, thank you, because he hooked up the tickets tonight, so I appreciate that. And come on this way, it's so noisy, speak up, tell the people how many lifetime Major League balls you've gotten. About 150. 150 for the young man, so well into the triple digits, hope you go for quadruple digits, but uh, yeah, great seeing you guys, and we still have a few innings to go. so many cool things that happened over the course of the day, one of which was catching a glimpse of Brian McCann as he ran past me in the chop house. But man, oh man, Spencer Strider's performance tonight belongs at the top of the list. The 23-year-old rookie starter struck out 16 batters to set a new single game record for the Braves, and he probably would have gotten even more if he had gotten to pitch the ninth inning. But Kenley Jansen got called in from the bullpen. Now, Kenley has not had the most dominant season, but he got things done tonight, retiring the top of the Rockies lineup 1-2-3, and this was a huge win for the Braves as they continue to battle the Mets for the best record in the NL East. But as for Strider, the huge number of strikeouts was not the only incredible thing about his performance. He only allowed two hits and did not walk anybody. Will he win the Rookie of the Year award? We'll see how he finishes up. But man, what a pleasure to be here to witness it. Final score, Braves three, Rockies nothing. And as for me, well, it was a really fun day, but not a big numbers day. And at the top of my list would be baseball number 12,000, getting it signed by Jose Ureña. So again, big thanks to him. Big thanks to the Braves and Rockies for being very entertaining over these couple of days here at Truist Park. So, yeah, 13,000 baseballs, give me a few years, guys. As for 30 Major League Baseball stadiums, only four more, but the next two videos won't count for that number. We're going to see the Savannah Bananas, so stay tuned for that. Should be pretty wild, and as always, thanks so much for watching.